good afternoon, good morning um, to everyone. And we appreciate you taking a little bit of time out of your busy day uh, to kind of learn more about our Starship solution. Um, as many of you here are, our ship gear users today, we definitely appreciate that loyalty and that business that you all have uh, shown us over the years. Um, and just like many of you, um, we are also, you know, somewhat sad to see ship gear go uh, away here at the end of the year. Uh, but today we're going to spend a lot of our time talking about Starship, kind of show you a quick demonstration of what Starship can do um, with QuickBooks. Um, and before we go there, however, I do have a quick little presentation to run through with all of you to kind of just talk about some of the features. Some of this may sound repetitive if you've joined the previous webinars of ours in the months uh, previous to this. Um, some may find it useful and, and helpful for them as well. Um, so please bear with us um, and we'll show you kind of a quick demonstration um, of how do we handle some international documentation today with Starship that can be beneficial to all of you um, shipping internationally as well. So without further ado, we'll get kind of started here as well. All right, so just a little brief uh, summary of VTech. Obviously, everyone here knows who we are, um, but really what I want to kind of, um, you know, from this slide, I want to kind of you know, let everyone know Starship is really our flagship product. It's not ship gear. Um, Starship has been around really since 1989, almost the inception of e-technologies. Um, it's our flagship solution. It's our multi-carrier solution um, that we go out, um, integrate not only with QuickBooks, um, but we also integrate with many different ERP solutions out there as well um, that you know, can help you know, with growth, right? Maybe you're looking to get out of QuickBooks eventually. Um, so we can definitely help you with those needs as well. Um, but also what I want to bring to everyone's attention is we were nominated or actually awarded um, the UPS Ready to 2022 Premier Partner Award uh, earlier this year, which um, kind of was awarded to five different solutions, uh, one of those being Starship. And that just goes basically to our, our strategic partnership we have with UPS, um, being part of the UPS Ready program, uh, as well as you know being compliant with the uh, APIs uh, that we connect with them on. Um, so there's a lot of different variables, but to be acknowledged by a company like UPS for the solutions we bring to their customers uh, was very, very, um, you know, uh, rewarding for all of us here at VTech. Okay. And again, we have 20 plus years experience with Intuit and QuickBooks integrating seamlessly with our Starship solution to QuickBooks Enterprise, which all of you are running today. Uh, so it's not something brand new we've created or designed or developed. Right, we have this integration built in stable, uh, which many of you um, will see here shortly. All right, just a couple points here. Uh, some of the key features uh, that kind of make us different than what Shipgear offers all of you today. Um, really, Starship, again, as I mentioned, is a parcel or a multi carrier shipping solution, right? So we can not only integrate your parcel uh, volume, but we can also do your LTL bill ladings if you have LTL. We can definitely do that as well for you. We can do all your rate shopping in a live format for both parcel and LTL. So we don't have to take you to different websites, different portals. Everything is built into Starship, which you'll see here momentarily. Um, again, we're leveraging line item detail, right? Which Shipgear doesn't do today. Um, the line item detail, which you'll see here momentarily with our international processing, we can store things like your HTS codes, all your commercial invoice information, at the individual line item, so you as a user don't need to repeatedly uh, enter that information each and every time you ship a particular item out of QuickBooks. And some other things like consolidation of orders, drop shipping, third party shipping, all of that is able to be done in Starship as well. So if any of those are applicable to you, uh, we can definitely speak to you and how Starship can handle those types of workflows. Um, so you can see that as well. Um, so one thing to note here with the QuickBooks integration and what we do, um, when we write back the QuickBooks Enterprise, it's going to look almost very similar to what Shipgear offers you today. Um, it's going to write back your tracking information, your shipped on date, the ship via code, all of that stuff will uh, come in. Um, the number of packages, we have a lot of information we can write back in the QuickBooks with our Starship integration. Some customers have asked us for you know weights of boxes, dimensions of boxes. All of that is able to come back in the QuickBooks if you want it to be written back. Some have asked for line item information to be sent back of what item was in what box in QuickBooks. Again, we can get creative like that as well if you want us to. So again, we have a lot of different write back functionality that Shipgear offered, uh, but Starship does today. 
Um, Real-time integration, just like uh, Shipyard is, we are real-time as well in Starship, right? So the minute we ship and process, everything is in QuickBooks for your viewing pleasure. So you can see all of that. Updating the freight costs is there for you as well if you want us to have that written back. And then also we can write the um, mark the order as processed. Um, we have a, um, a custom field that we can help create in your QuickBooks environment that we can write the word process back into it. And that only is a check and balance, but it also allows us to filter out those orders so you don't have a duplication happening in shipping. Um, so the shippers will only be able to see what's available to be shipped still versus what's already been shipped earlier that day um, is what we can do there. When we look at the cloud um, and Starship running in the cloud, right? So again, we're not putting a server in place here <clears throat> like Shipgear is today. And that's kind of one of the reasons Shipgear is going away is to really reduce those, you know, IT expenses, right? We're not having to worry about your IT department or outside IT firm coming in and having to run upgrades for three different solutions, right? Everything here is gonna be always on the latest version. Um, we run your server in our Microsoft Azure environment, um, meaning that we're maintaining that 24 seven. Um, the upgrades are happening overnight. You don't, as a user, will never see anything really different um, with the Starship application. Um, we're giving you access to unlimited users, also unlimited carriers, right? So all the carriers we support, uh, which you'll see here in a second, um, are also provided to you in Starship without any additional cost. Uh, and then lastly, here's the manage the seasonality, right? So a lot of you might be seasonal shippers, right? Just with different tiered pricing, you can go up, you can come down, you can go back up, right? It's really up to you as a user to de uh, determine what your pricing may be on a given month um, or a certain amount of time. Um, is really up to you, but the seasonality aspect is, is really important as well. This is a list of all of our carriers we support today in a direct format. Um, we have some 3PLs on here, uh, which will support many different carriers besides the ones we support. Um, we have our direct APIs, right? And then we have some uh, parcel options here as well for you, um, along with some Canadian uh, carriers uh, available to you as well. Um, one thing I always tell customers is don't be... Um, shy or feel like we can't support a carrier not on here um, we have options to offer you if there is a carrier working with today um, so please work with jason or will on my team um, or myself and we can kind of give you what those options are or workarounds um, to assist you with any carriers you may be working with today that um, we don't support in a direct fashion um, as well and just to give you a quick view of our dashboard, right? So one thing, part of the Starship application is a value added tool that we're gonna give you is really uh, all the information at your fingertips. So distribution maps. So what you see there in the upper right, you know, where all your uh, points of distribution are across the country. So you can make informed decisions of what, you know, locations um, you may be wanting to open, maybe better negotiations with the carriers of making sure you're, you're providing them with the, you know, or they're providing you with incentives for certain lanes you're shipping to. Uh, we give you a variety of charts from a high level capacity to look at, along with any sort of reports to look at as well um, that are very detailed, by the way, that you can download in a PDF or Excel format. Um, so that's really up to you um, how you want to use this. But again, this is more for you as a user um, to give you all the information at your fingertips without having to go to your individual reps and ask them for this information themselves. Okay, so I'm gonna spend a couple minutes here uh, because I really uh, wanna just talk about, you know, um, with all of you being our ship gear user base, right? Um, we are running out of time. Um, and there's no easy way to say that, right? We are now down to six months and almost below six months time frame. Um, we have uh, just over 800 customers now still using ship gear today. And that's between all um, ERPs that we support with ship gear, not just QuickBooks. Um, so again, because we have over 800 users, um, we have users coming in every single day to use Starship, right? They're calling us, they're coming on, they're paying for services, they're getting into our calendar. Um, so right now we are in an eight week backlog um, currently as we sit this afternoon. Um, so if you committed to us today, we would be booking your project sometime in late August to get on the calendar to start, right? And even as early as early September. Um, so the longer that goes on, and as we get into the summer months, we expect that eight weeks to go beyond 10 weeks um, based on just the customer volume that we have, not only in ship gear, but also our, all of our new customers coming on uh, for other projects as well. Um, so 
the sooner the better you can make a decision on moving forward with Starship, the better off you will be. Uh, we just don't want to see anybody sort of be in a position where we're telling them it won't be until Q1 that we can get their project started um, and you're left without a solution that's not supported, right? So, um, so we want to make sure that we kind of give you this information um, as quickly as we can, um, provide you the quotes that we did provide you. Uh, but again, you're paying for something here, you know, with ship gear that has higher fees at the moment, limited integration, no enhancements being done to the product. So again, the question becomes, you know, what are you waiting for, right? So what is causing you to hang back, right? Versus moving forward with the latest technology that's available to you. So, um, and also you'll see, we have a specific promotion that's expiring here in a couple of weeks. And we'll talk about how you can get the access to that promotion as well before that expires. I'll come into this main screen and load in here for you to start the processing of uh, your order. Just like ship gear today, we have that little import function here where you could type in or scan in your order number, invoice number, whatever you're using. You could type that in here as well, if you, that's easier for you, or you can use the little truck icon off to the right. Um, if I click on the little truck icon off to the right, um, you're basically gonna see the order come all into Starship. One thing to note, because we get this question asked to us quite a bit um, when it comes to um, the integration, um, World Ship, Ship Manager, Post Office, any LTL portal all go away. Um, we do not use those to integrate with Starship. Starship becomes your main portal to do all of your rate shopping, all of your shipping. We use your account numbers, your rates. Um, we load that all into here to show you exactly what is going on. Um, so I wanna make that clear to everybody. Um, so again, we work in one page, so everything loaded up here for us. So again, we have our sender information, which is gonna be defaulted to you. We have our recipient information as well, which is coming in from QuickBooks, um, the order itself. And what you'll see sometimes, you'll see things in red. So if you kind of hover over, it'll tell you sort of like what's missing. And this is telling me my contact is missing. So if I were to click into here, I can easily type that in or I can change the mapping. So the mapping could basically find my current contact and I'm good to go. And you'll notice this has now gone away and the red has disappeared. And the middle section here is just pulling in your ship via from QuickBooks. So here we're showing you, hey, everything's defaulted to your account. It's prepaid with UPS going into Canada. Um, and you're good to go. But if you do come in here and just talk to this really quickly, um, but basically you have all of the information here from a you know transportation perspective, who you're billing to, if it's third party or prepaid, down below is basically your duties and taxes that it will default to the recipient for you. Um, if you're paying for it on your own, right? If you're an importer record, you can change that here as well. Um, and then over here is any broker information or importer of record information that's gonna be specific to this particular shipment. If you don't have any selected, it will default to the carrier to clear that shipment for you. So in this case being UPS. Um, and because this is Canada, I do have my USMCA box automatically checked here for me as well. So it knows that, hey, we don't need any sort of ACE integration or ITN number um, if it were to be applicable. Um, you could click into the international tab and this is where we're building out your commercial invoice. So you're already gonna see numbers populated. And the reason this is populated is we have all the values coming in from QuickBooks based on your items. So those are being shown here as well, along with your current freight charges. We have a total for your commercial invoice that we're gonna pass to Canadian Customs so they can clear this shipment based on a $1,500 shipment uh, or a total. Um, and we can assess, they can assess the duties and tax accordingly to that. We do have all varieties of terms of sale. So again, if you're doing delivery duty on paid, paid, X works, whatever you're using is all available in the terms of sale here as well. Again, this is where we're building out your commercial invoice. For anyone doing ITN numbers internationally with ACE or having the carrier doing them for you, we do have our own ACE integration. So you can definitely ask us about that and we can talk through that further in a demo um, and how we uh, work with the ACE portal and basically able to grab those ITN numbers and populate those into Starship automatically for you. Um, so if you are doing that in a manual phase, that is another enhancement we can help you with our Starship integration. Um, shipment details are just really just different accessorials that will change based on carrier specifications. So here we have like using insurance, these are all showing you the UPS options, but if I were to change this to FedEx or maybe an LTL carrier, they would also change. We do have quantum view notify built into Starship, 
We do use that for exceptions primarily. So if there is an exception to the shipment being delivered, UPS will go out and notify your user. Um, we have up to five email addresses here where we can store or map in um, for your you know, uh, pleasure. If you wanna use one for yourselves, you can definitely do that, which is recommended. But again, we have something with eNotify that we can talk about as well with you. And then um, down here is just how you're building out your boxes, right? And what you wanna pack inside of each of them. Um, but again, what I've done here is basically, um, just to show you what this looks like. <clears throat> so I basically defined all my items in the different boxes, right? You don't have to do it this way. You can have all my items boxed into, or packed into one box. You can drag items up and down, right? So I could move this item up to this box if I wanted to. It's really up to you how you wanna you know, pack up your goods. Um, again, in this case, you don't actually need to do anything like that. You can leave an empty box as long as the box has an appropriate dimension and a weight. Um, you can ship it that way as well. Um, Starship, just like WorldShip or Ship Manager, does have its own packing database. So we can set up your box dimensions here for you as well. And we also have pallet um, uh, dimensions available to you as well, where you can store your pallets if you're shipping LTL here uh, for you. Okay. So we do support dimensional weight. That's what this column is. It's reading all your dimensions in, doing a calculation and determining if dimensional weight is applicable or not. And that's what this column will reflect here for you um, to make sure that we're quoting you uh, accurately. Um, the line items, um, again, this is what I was talking about earlier, line item integration, right? Here's your values for each of your SKUs from QuickBooks, right? And here's where we're storing your various information on that SKU. Um, more, more importantly, because we're talking international, here's where we're storing your HTS codes, your certificate of origin, all of that information is stored here the first and only time, um, and you never need to touch it again, and that will be there for future use when you ship this item again in the future. And then down here is just really your rates shop, right? So down here is gonna show you how you brought in the, so this is gonna show you the rates coming in from the carrier you've selected. So because I've selected UPS, I'm showing you my contracted rates with UPS in this case. Then I have my applied rates, which are basically marked up rates. So in this example, I have essentially 10% markup that I'm gonna pass back to QuickBooks to invoice my customer for the shipment. Those rules can be set up however you want them to be. They can be by customer, they can be one across the board. Um, however you want them to display in QuickBooks is up to you. Uh, how you want them to apply, I should say, is up to you. Um, but you can have different rules for different modes. Um, so again, take advantage of that if you can. Uh, we will return a published rate. I'm just hiding mine currently at the moment. Um, but again, if you need to see published rates, we can return those to you as well for parcel here uh, as well. And then last but not least is the rate shop. So you can click this little button here. You also have a rule that we can set to go out and find your least expensive option for you. But again, if I click the shop all button, within a couple seconds, it's gonna go out, make the API calls to the various carriers on my license and return back to me my negotiated rates with all of those carriers. We will return back to you, if applicable, all your parcel options, along with any LTL options, as you see here, right, going to this shipment, uh, to this uh, recipient. So in this example, I had to sort it on my contracted rates, the least uh, expensive option on top. So UPS in this example is my best option, right? Then right below it is ABF rate and so on and so forth. So if I wanna make any changes, I can just check the box next to which carrier I wanna use, and that will switch it you know, between modes, between carriers, and we'll generate the appropriate documentation from there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and ship and process this so you can see what the write back looks like in QuickBooks. And then we'll kind of show you what the documents look like and then uh, take you through a couple of things before we close. So as the ship and process is, again, in real time, we're gonna send this all back into QuickBooks uh, for you. So I'm gonna open up QuickBooks here. So you can see what the write back looks like. Let me just expand this. So you can see now in QuickBooks, we return back all of the various boxes, right? So I have five boxes on that order and I have five different tracking numbers listed here. And as I mentioned, I could put my line items in each box. So I know if I'm looking at this, what was packed in what box, so I can easily tell what the ship on date was. Also those applied rates are over here as well. So you can see that. Uh, and then there's that word processed in this ship status field that I've created in QuickBooks. So I know, okay, this has been processed. It's now been removed from Starship, so I don't duplicate my uh, shipment again in the future. Okay. <clears throat> and then what I do wanna show you here, going back into Starship, 
right? So here's what but basically is printed, right, as well from the document perspective. So we'll print your commercial invoice for you with all the applicable information, your commercial invoice and all that, or your Schedule B information, uh, values, right? You can have all this. By the way, we support electronic trade documents with FedEx as well as UPS, UPS paperless invoicing, if you're using any of those, um, by the way. And then here's all your various labels, right? So we can print standard four by six labels, four by eight labels. We can print packing lists on the side separately, right? So again, as you can see, this is one of five, but again, all five labels would have printed for you here as well to your standard Zebra printers you may all be using. Um, you don't need to change out hardware at all. That's all gonna be supported there for you as well, okay? And then last but not least is that dashboard, as I mentioned earlier. Right, so again, you have a variety of information in here um, that you could take full advantage of, right? Again, you can filter on any of these charts. So you can see here, I have a filter looking only at my FedEx shipping, but if I just wanna X that out, I wanna see all of my various distribution points. You can see in real time, all my carriers where I'm shipping product to, the red dots are the hot areas, the grays I'm fading, right? So again, it gives you a good uh, overview. You have access to all of these charts to look at as well to run. Um, you can easily add those and filter those out. And then as well, you have a whole report database in here, things like address correction reports. You can look at your applied rates, the ones you're charging your customer versus what is being quoted to you. If you like to freight detail, parcel detail, you have international detail reports in here. Late deliveries is a popular one for claims purposes. So. We give you a lot of information at your fingertips to run at your leisure, um, again, to make those informed decisions. And then lastly, we have our notification templates that um, we can have you create. Again, you get a full template designer, part of Starship. Again, you can make these look and feel however you want, right? So here's just, you know, kind of an example. Oh, actually, this is the wrong one. Um, so let me just pull up one that I can show you here. So. There we go. Okay, so here's kind of a UPS example, right? So um, you have basically logos you can put in here. Um, you don't have to put logo; it'd be all content, PO numbers, sales order number, um, the carrier being going with this going UPS, when to expect delivery by. This is coming back from the API that we can display here to your customer, and then all kind of insert a box here with all their tracking numbers, what the contents were in each box, right? Maybe a marketing tool with coupon codes um to come back to the website and order more product they can also click this this will take them directly onto the ups website to track their own order um, so that's all available to you as well as part of the subscription of starship uh, thank you everyone